Uh, Eurozone GDP contracts at 3.8%, uh, the, the fastest shrinkage on record going back to the mid-90s. France down 5.8%. That's the worst deterioration in GDP since 1949. And, of course, we see that there is nothing showing up on the euro bond from Christine Lagarde. What do you see regarding the economy, and how do you think Christine Lagarde and the ECB have been proceeding? First of all, of course, the economy is uh, shrinking, and uh, this is... Uh, the consequence uh, of the confinement, uh, as we say. So uh, no, n nothing is surprising, and uh, we have to expect uh, even more uh, contraction, and I would say everywhere, uh, frankly speaking, uh, uh, apart perhaps uh, from, uh, from the Asian countries. A second remark, the uh, ECB has confirmed its own total determination. I was uh, uh, recomputing what uh, Christine was saying as regards the purchase of uh, tradable securities, and uh, until the end of the year, it's a one trillion euro purchase uh, program. Uh, the, there was uh, total flexibility in the use of uh, the uh, pandemic emergency purchase program, which uh, uh, this flexibility is very, very important in the present juncture. And uh, there has been also a number of additional uh, elements that are also important, in particular the f famous targeted long-term refinancing, uh, which is uh, now at the level of minus 1% for new lending, the interest rates that the banks uh, uh, are uh, uh, refinancing with. Uh, now, last point, the uh, uh, attitude of the governments, and then the message is very clear, and I will, of course, uh, myself say to which extent it is very, very important that the present blockade on the, on the financing of the recovery program, which uh, should be very, very important. The president of the commission mentioned a one trillion euro recovery program. Whatever the amount, it would be very big, but it has to be decided upon. And uh, whatever the financing, financing might be euro bonds, it might be another way of finance this recovery program. I would say the, the important thing is that it is decided. And uh, uh, it is not yet the case, but I, I uh, would urge myself, and Christine was very, very clear on that, the European government, the heads of state and uh, ministers, to decide upon that. We only have a minute left, sir, sir. I, we're going to have to answer this quickly. Many believe that the chances of the euro surviving uh, have gone uh, down a bit, uh, considering there is no euro bond slash corona bond. It seems as though the Dutch and the Germans just aren't happy with it. Your final thought, whether both those countries are going to at some point concede the notion that shared debt is what's going to ultimately save the eurozone and potentially the euro. Your final thoughts. Uh, first, there is not only the euro bonds to finance a joint uh, collegial uh, recovery program. You could do that also through the budget of the Commission. Uh, you could do that uh, through uh, some borrowing of the Commission itself. And that's the reason why I say let's not be blocked on the euro bonds. The euro bonds are not the only way to finance what is needed. And I am confident that they can deliver, but it has to be done as soon as possible.